Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you my new doll, Louie, and I am going to unwrap it with you and see what's in this box. This is what it comes in, a uh, brown shipping box, and the information of the company, Carpatina Dolls. I believe they're located in Nashua, New Hampshire. Uh, I cut open the box, but I didn't take anything out. I am going to take it out of the box with you. And here is the, I'm gonna put this away for now. Um, here's a beautiful doll box. Comes in a protective plastic bag. I assume if it gets delivered in the rain, water will not get inside. Take the plastic bag off. And here is a very, very pretty doll box. In the back of it, looks like there are photos of the other Carpatina dolls. I hope you can see them. And let's open it. Nice, very, very nice sturdy box. Let's put this away for now. Some additional protective material. And voila. And here is Louis. And he is part of the historical line, and I believe he is based on the character of Louis the Fourteen, the Sun King. Louis has a removable wig. What we have here in this little package is the historically accurate wig that he will wear um, for ceremonial purposes and stuff like that. And with instructions, this wig is removable and this wig will replace that one. Okay, doll is attached very nicely to the bottom of the box. Little protective sponges, ribbons, from now. It's got a hairnet also. Take that away. He also has a little tag with some additional information about the company. He's clothing, uh, what can I say, uh, kind of exquisite. A lot of details, back and front. Look at this little shoes. Oh my gosh. Very, very nice. Looks like he also has some socks or they're kind of like knee high. And this is the outfit. It seems to be historically accurate. Let me see if we can take this out. And here's a little cravat with a little jewel. This comes off. This is his little cravat, little jewel. Very, very nice. The top, it's called a doublet and this has very nice snaps closure, but on the outside, it's got this very, very, very cute little buttons. This comes off. And under, there is a really nice white cotton shirt with lace ruffles. Again, closes at the back with snaps 
This doll doesn't have any Velcro anywhere, which I kind of like. Velcro, I don't like. It gets stuck in the hair, stuck in other clothing. Look at this. Look at this. Completely lined inside. A very nice, beautiful blue lining. Super, super cute details. Little peplum bottom. Nice sleeve caps. Lovely. I'm going to take off the pantaloons too, see what's under. Or at least, okay. Seems that Louis also has some underclothes, which are very nice. The pants also seem to be lined in a very nice lining. Again, the light color of the lining is because sometimes the color from the clothing can go into or bleed, how it, they, they say, into the vinyl. This will prevent that from happening. So everything is nicely lined. Close this. I am not gonna take his pants off completely because we know that he's got undies, that he's got socks, and I want actually to take these shoe off and show you again how absolutely amazing this is. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely shoes. My favorite probably article of clothing. I'm gonna take them actually both off. I want these shoes, super cute. This is Louis. And let's see now if we can go back to the second wig, see what this is all about. But I have a feeling that I am going to make another video to show you how this wig works on the way. For now, this is what's in the box. Lovely quality, hard vinyl. Louis is po posable shoulders and hips. The knees and the elbows do not bend. Again, this is a Carpatina doll. It's being produced right now. It's available at carpatina.com or at carpatina-dolls.com. The company has two websites. One is dedicated only to the dolls and the one and one, I believe, is dedicated to some um, uh, costumes. The company makes costumes for big people too, not just for little people or little dolls, I should say. This is an 18 inch doll. It's slim body. It's all vinyl. It's not like American Girl. It doesn't have a stuffed body. They're not anatomically correct. I just wanted to tell you to know that. Um, it's a fabulous doll. Great to play, great to collect. If you like historical dolls, this is the one that you should have. It's affordable based on the quality. It's not cheap, but it's from what you're getting, I think it's not a bad price. Check it out, Carpatina is the company that makes them. This is Louis, Louis, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.